Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here. Um, starting, I am Setsuna. I've really been waiting such a long time to play this on my channel. I did start playing it on my own, but then after the first battle, reaching the first town, I was like, this is giving me such Chrono Trigger feels, and Chrono Trigger is one of my absolute most favorite games of all time. So I just wanted to record this and not just play it on my own. But I just wanted to see everything, experience everything, and... Yeah, I think this will be fun. I know absolutely nothing of the game. I don't know which characters join you. I don't know anything about side quests. I'm just like, I'm sold from the first battle. It's just such Chrono Trigger feels. Um, so I'm going to be starting a new game. Uh, do you want to turn on in-game voices? Of course I do. Super excited. Seems you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary, or... Oh, it's a guy. Perhaps my own skills as a mercenary simply grow weak. I am Hapsburg. I'll be working on with you on this mission. Is that their hair or just a tassel on their helmet? What is your name? Do you want to change Endir's name? Yes. Sorry, Endir, but this is my story. Oh, hey, it's right there. I'm Jelly. Nice to be working with you, Jelly. Our mission is to recover a young girl who has been kidnapped by monsters. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to our clients. Of course. Look at how they trudge through the snow. It, like, leaves marks. If she's still alive, that is. Let us begin right away. Are you ready to go? Um... Look at his helmet design, like, are those his real eyes or just, like, helmet eyes? Um, I'm going to be answering all dialogue choices how I would answer normally in real life, like I've done with my Persona playthroughs. So I don't want to be rude, so how about you? <laughs> you don't mess around, eh, Jelly? Yes, I'm ready. Of course, I won't be getting involved in the combat, except in an advisory capacity. It'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Let us. Ooh, our first enemy. It seems we have already entered their territory. Time to get to work, Jelly. Ready to go? Of course. What else am I gonna wait around for? Good, I knew I could count on you. A puny foe, but you can never be too careful. If you approach without it noticing, you should be able to strike first. Um, yes. Got it. In combat, tactics are everything. Stay calm and focused at all times. It's an ATB system. Monsters have ATB gauges. Oh, my eyes are itchy again. What else is new? Of course, I am sure you are already well aware of this. Oh, no, he saw me. Here it comes. I cannot back attack it. Attack. Pinky. Pinky is focusing. Wait, I didn't know I could move too. I can't. But the enemy can move around me. That's not fair. <gasps> he slapped me. You dare impugn my honor. Yeah, I can't. I can't move. He gets to roam freely. It's not fair. For experience, Majestic Crest. You obviously know what you're doing. No, I only had the chance to attack. That was it. We should be safer now. Let us head on. Let us. Now get to move. Yeah, I'm gonna be super annoying, checking every single corner for treasures and whatnot. But if I remember from Chrono Trigger, there weren't too many hidden things. And if there were, it was like clearly marked like a chest. There are more of them than before. Use a tech to take them all out at once. You have spirit knight stones on you, I presume? What? <laughs> you mean to say you have never used spirit knight? What astonishing natural talent you must possess. Heck yeah. You have saved Cyclone! Oh! That was Chrono's first move. Equipping Spirit Knight allows you to use text. Try that stone out. Uh, imbued a magical power. Command Spirit Knight. Support. Okay. Just having it in your possession is not enough. You must not forget to equip it. Spirit Knight. All Spirit Knights. Cyclone. Okay. 
Eric Spirit Night name? No, I'm never gonna remember what it is. I just want to check my party. Oh, I only have 37 experience. Um, settings! Uh, yeah, like, wait. Battle cursor memory all. Battle hope messages on. Yes, please. I don't really like sound effects that much. Hero's voice on. Okay. Back. Oh, sorry. I really have to scratch my eyes. Ugh. Why is this happening to me? Okay, I should be good. Woo. Um... Yeah, I think that's all I can see for now. Be careful. I will. Why don't I get to sneak up on them? Tech. Seclo. But he's so far away. Oh, it still hits him. Focus. Tech up, tech up. Tech. Seclo. Oh no, I missed the other one. Okay, I guess I'll just normally attack him now. He slapped me! Exact kill! Nice! Eight experience! Nice job! Come, let us hurry on. Yes, sir. Is that a save point? A glowing ring of light. You can sense a faint magical energy emanating from inside it. What is the matter? Uh, what's this? What's this? Just colors in the air. Hmm? What is what? Sense the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. He can't see this! I am special. I am the chosen one. You want to save? Heck yes. Uh, I'm gonna save over this. Yes. Goodbye, old data. My journey begins anew yet again. Yeah, no treasures here. Oh no, someone has fallen. Phew, she's still breathing. As a girl, how can you tell? Although not for long at this rate. Uh oh, it's a polar bear! Another one, and much more powerful this time. Doesn't look like we'll be getting out of here alive without defeating it. No matter how powerful, every foe has its moments of weakness. You must see such moments to strike. A uh, momentum mode. ATB gauge is full, but you haven't selected the component. The round SP gauge to right will start to fill up. It will be filled with your take action damage. The flash SP point reset. At least one SP point you can choose. Momentum mode. Okay. Uh, momentum mode effects. Additional damage and stuff. Let's just try it out and see what happens. You have one last piece of work to take care of, Jelly. I'm counting on you. Curse you, old man, for not helping me. So that gauge will fill up. It'll also fill up if I'm doing stuff. And now... Ow. I'm gonna attack you. Come on, start filling up again. Oh. When is the momentum thing gonna pop up? Uh, can I? Oh, I should heal. I think my momentum thing is full. Uh, let's try using attack. Yeah, it's not going up anymore. The three glowy things are still there. Um, I can't push any other button. Uh, I was pressing square, but nothing's happening? Okay, I'll just keep attacking with us. What's the momentum mode thing? That made no sense! save you? I guess, if you're the girl that we came to save? To save me? The, the monsters! Where are the monsters? Do not worry. He took care of them. Oh, so I'm safe. Thank you. But why? Uh... 
because you were in the snow? That's our job. It's a clear explanation. Your job? That's it. That's right. We are from a tribe of people who make their living as mercenaries. We came here because we were hired by your father. I see. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll be able to see everyone again. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this, Jelly. I'm gonna have to read up about the momentum mode thing again. That is your share. Nice! How much did you take for yourself? Was this 50-50? 70-30? What is it? Now then, it's time for us to go our separate ways, Jelly. I shall take this girl back to her father. Take care, Jelly. I guess I'll read about momentum mode on my own time. I don't want to waste recording time on this. On tutorial stuff. Tell me, Jelly. How long do you plan on staying in this line of work? I've never thought about it. How strong you are, Jelly. Even if some very difficult decisions are forced upon you, I am sure you will prevail. Please treasure your time. Will do, old man. Ooh! Someone came up behind me. Be on my guard. Relax yourself. I am no foe. Were I a foe, I would have already attacked you from behind, would I not? Not that I think there is any way I could possibly defeat a swordsman of your caliber, of course. You're trying to butter me up, sir. See, look! It's already the first five minutes and there's always there's already, like, mystery and intrigue. I've witnessed your ability, Jelly. I have a mission I would like to ask you to complete on behalf of my master. And you think I'll accept? I don't even know you. Yes, I believe so. You will see it through any mission, no matter how arduous. That is what I have heard. Just off the coast of the mainland, there's a small isle, and on that isle, there's a small village. In that village, there is a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Jelly, is to kill her. Why am I killing an innocent girl? Shady business. I am Setsuna. I know the Japanese title is slightly different, but it's basically the same. It's about Setsuna. And it seems to have a huge um, rel relation, or what's the word? But yes, yeah, snow is huge part of this game. But hey, I like it. Like the snowflake designs are so cute. The music so far, super cute. But oh man, Chrono Trigger's soundtrack was timeless. It's so amazing. I haven't heard the whole soundtrack for this game, so I don't, I can't comment. And I've never heard anything from this composer before. But so far, I like it. Can I skip this? No, I cannot. Um, but yeah, I hope I get better at battling. I need to understand what that momentum mode thing is. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good. Just off the coast of the mainland, there's a small isle, and on that isle, there's a small village. In that village, there's a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Jelly, is to kill her. The village of which I speak is known as the Village of Sacrifice. Once every 10 years, a sacrifice is chosen and sets out on a journey to the last lands to fulfill her duty. Not long ago, a young girl was once again chosen to become a sacrifice. It is she who is your target. We'll soon be arriving at Nive... Neve? Nive Island, sir. I'm going to say Neve. I haven't seen your face around here before. Or your mask, rather. It's very unusual for travelers to come over from the mainland, of course. Nive Village is just past here. Didn't I say I was to say Neve? I'm gonna say Nive now. All the villagers are friendly, 
very friendly. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Thanks. Can I go back on the boat or is that a no? Nope. Look at my feet. They're just like tiny little stubs. Exploration time. Very few people travel to this island these days, what with all the monsters. You're very brave to have come here. Let me welcome you on behalf of the village. If I remember correctly, there's like no treasures. But look how like small and tiny this village is. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just in northwest, you'll soon see it. She probably has a stuffed nose. Yeah. Okay, triangle is menu. Trigger buttons do nothing. Square does nothing. Circle does nothing. And X confirms stuff. Treasure chest! Obtain five fox stones. Huzzah! I don't know what they do. More looting! It's locked. Curse you. Sorry, we're not open yet. You should be sorry. I'm hungry. Uh, I guess that's all I can do here. Yep, this is literally where I ended last time. But look! Overworld! So beautiful. Did she say northeast or northwest? It don't matter, we exploring. Options does nothing, share. Oops, share does that. Okay. If I push the pad, nothing. Okay. This song kind of reminds me of Chrono Cross music. Night Village. Raish. Welcome, traveler. I am Raish. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Please, stay as long as you like. I will! And I shall plunder everything! Ooh, a person! After she gave birth to my dad, my grandmother left here as part of the sacrifice's guard. Young or old, man or woman, anyone can join the guard if they've got what it takes. Your grandma's super cool! Today is the day of a celebration! The sacrifice will be departing on her pilgrimage. It reminds me of the day I saw my wife off. No. Was your wife part of the guard? I don't mind the cold at all. One day I'll be strong enough to protect someone, like the lady in the sacrifice's guard. The departure ceremony will soon begin. A journey of sacrifice made to appease the savage monsters. It's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. Oh, I thought the music was getting like creepy because I entered a forbidden area, but nope, that's just how the song goes. Hey, I didn't even talk to you. The girl who has been chosen as a sacrifice is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Snow Monument to pray to past sacrifices. Where's the Falling Snow Monument? Just past the Daz Shire Woods. These are interesting names. I want to go into this house. Oh, there's a snowman on the side of the house. Looting and polluting. Woo! Hey, have you been to the Falling Snow Monument? Apparently, it's just through the Dadshire Woods near the village. There are monsters in the woods, though, so I've never been. Oh yeah, if there's any side quests that pop up in this game, I'm definitely gonna do it because all the side quests in Chrono Trigger, even though they didn't affect the main storyline, just the effect it had on the overall world and the people you encountered, it was just so great. I mean, some of the side quests had to do with uh, powering up characters, getting them awesome stuff, but yeah, I'm going to be doing all the side quests. My family are close with the family of the girl who's been chosen as sacrifice, you see. So today's the day, eh? <sighs> today is the day, I guess. I bet I'm not going to kill her. Something's going to happen. Oh, they put like branches on his head to make it look like antlers. That little busybody says she's worried about me. A sacrifice should have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Hey, she kind of sounds like Yuna from Final Fantasy X. 
She's so kind, so beautiful, she's absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. But now that she's been chosen as sacrifice, I guess I'll just have to try and forget about her. It's locked! I passed through this village on my travels and took a liking to it. I ended up staying here, but the villagers still aren't very friendly towards me. I wish there were some way I could win their trust. That sounds like a side quest in the making. Uh, I don't think I've been inside this house. This is a pretty big village. How could that port town is so small? I figured the port town would be bigger since, you know, more people would be arriving and whatnot. That's why port cities are so profitable and big. Commerce. I can't go inside that house. I cannot. I think I talked to you, right? Yeah, you're the one with the grandma. Uh, I don't remember where I've been, who I've talked to. Everyone here seems friendly to me. I wonder why that guy doesn't feel very welcome. I can't tell anyone where Sentinel went. I promised I'd keep it a secret. I guess I can tell you when she gets back from Falling Stone Monument, though. She's never coming back! <laughs> That's where she went, dude. Old man. Her mother and her aunt, too. I saw them off just like this, too. You didn't have to repeat the two. That's, yeah, unnecessary. We are powerless to do anything else. Even if it is for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. They are the special chosen family. Mother and daughter, both setting off as sacrifice. It is a strange thing indeed. I must at least make her some of that arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. I used to think cauliflower was disgusting. And then I got older and my taste changed. And it's actually pretty delicious now. You're the same lady, right? Yeah, the departure ceremony. Uh, go into the house and then I guess I'm off to Falling Stone Mountain. The monsters have become much more ferocious lately. Even just getting through the Dasjar woods to the northeast is hard going these days. Got it. Everyone's homes look so comfy and cozy. Is there a way out through here? Whoa! A dude! Oh, uh, listen to advice? Tempering items. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By combining these metals with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you'll also be able to purchase these medals from Weppy and Tallies. Who is Weppy? Ooh, nope. Uh, potion, ether, antidotes, press and press, smelling salt, Ath Athenian water, pence, fox, oh, around the skin battle. Okay, well, I'm gonna get one of you, I'm gonna get two of you. You can never be too sure. Mm, although I probably will get another uh, party member soon, and they'll be able to help me. Snow lights, strengthen weapon, no tempering items on. Didn't I get a sheet of metal? Oh well. Um, snow chronicles. What are snow chronicles? Ah, main character, sub character. What? Sorry, be right back. What the heck is happening? Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Ever since I had to install the new PlayStation update, my PS4 has been freaking out on me. That's the first time it actually went to rest mode on me, though. Other times it just randomly restarts or shuts, shuts down. Ugh, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Pinky! Uh, I think I could just kill this guy without using momentum. I had to do the boss battle again. And so I figured out what momentum was. So when that light comes up above my head, I press uh, square and then it does additional damage and whatnot. It's locked, but it's glowing. You guys and your locked chests. No, I crept up behind him. What? I missed? How'd I miss? 
Yeah, don't hit me. Let's let this build up. Yeah, more momentum kills. I think momentum kills also give me extra items. So it's super helpful. Also, it keeps you on your toes so that you're not just auto-battling the entire time. What the freak is- Oh, the owl! He ran away! Is he like a rare foe or something? Okay. Ooh, two! Guess what I'm gonna have to do? Additional physical damage! Oh, you got me! I want the momentum. Give it to me. It's a good thing it's not like exactly time thing, or else I would never get it. Uh, what's off here? So many paths to go through! Which one is correct? Oh! I came back here. Nice. Can I jump back up? No. Okay, well now I know a short way to get out. Maybe that owl was back. No, Mr. Owl was not back. Yeah. Um, I'll try to go- Oh! That was just a wall. So I did have to go this way. But up. Of course, in the end, I eventually have to keep going up, because I'm gonna save again just in case my PS4 freaks out. That was a very short map, but then again, it's kind of like Guardia Woods when you're heading from the town to uh, the castle. If I make too many Chrono Trigger references, I'm sorry. I love that game. Hello, girl. Well, Mom, I'll be leaving soon. I'm going to give this everything I've got. I hope you can keep watching over me until the end. Don't do it, Jelly! Don't do it! Leave the girl alone! Wow, this is beautiful, though. Who are you? I can't do it! Are you the sacrifice? Yes. And you are? I don't suppose you're going to answer that. I am the sacrifice. I was chosen to give my life in the last lands. Just like the past sacrifices whose names are engraved upon this monument. That is why I cannot let you take my life now. But even if you do not kill me, my life will end soon enough. When my journey comes to an end, so too will my life. Like Yuna. Don't! Why the heck would I swing? I am... Do you want to change Setsuna's name? No, she's the titular character. I don't want to change it. I am Setsuna, and you are? I'm Jelly. <gasps> Whoa! Setsuna, are you alright? Thank goodness we made it in time! She kinda looks like a frog, her hood. I'm sure you're very skilled indeed. But have you ever taken on two magic users at once, I wonder? Please join my party, you look so awesome. I shall protect Setsuna, even if it costs me my life. Will you both join my party? Setsuna, stop this! <laughs> did they incapacitate me? Yes, they did. Who uh, No, where am I? No, wait, I know where I am! So you're awake. This is the village of Nive. You were put to sleep and carried back here. Hey, come on, give it up. There's no way you'll be able to move. You've got the magical energy of two magic users restraining you, you know? But alas, I can move, for I am special. What the? Looks like you're no pushover, eh? Phew, you're just in time. Uh, what was it again? I've been here for two weeks now. 
Isn't it about time you remembered my name? I'm... Ooh, I can change everyone's name? Yo! It's a, no, I kind of want to leave their names. Maybe in the next playthrough I'll change it. Eterna. Got it? Sorry, Eterna. Never mind that though. Look! What? How can he get up? How come he can get up? I've heard stories. A masked tribe who make their living as mercenaries. You're one of them, aren't you? Why did you try to kill Setsuna? Who hired you? For generations, sacrifices from this village have given their lives in order to protect the world. You tried to kill one of those precious sacrifices. Do you even understand just how serious a crime that is? No. I don't. So that's how you attacked Setsuna. You were unaware of what a terrible mistake you were making. I am innocent in this! I will protect Setsuna. I won't let you touch her, no matter what. You stay lying right there. Huh. Uh-oh, you made her mad. It's the guillotine for you, I'm afraid. I can get up again. Come on, at least act like you care. Talk about emotionless. Anyway, I'm kidding. We don't even have a guillotine here in the village. We got pretty lucky, though. Several of the villagers did actually insist that you would be severely punished. The real reason- the reason you're still alive now is you had someone to defend you. Do you know who that was? The sacrifice! Well, I am surprised. Exactly right. You're a sharp guy. It was Setsuna who protected you. With the sacrifice herself asking us to spare you, no one could exactly argue. But a curious young lady she is, saving the life of the very same person who tried to kill her. Once Setsuna is safely on her way, we'll let you go. That's what the village chief ended up promising her, you see? Anyway, until then, you can stay right here. What? It's the monsters! The monsters are attacking again! You're gonna need me to help you! What? Forget about that house! The only person in there is the guy who tried to kill the sacrifice! No, but still! Come on, we need to hurry up and get all the villagers to safety! Ugh, sorry. Don't hold it against me, alright? They're gonna let the monster come and kill me. But guess what? I'm probably gonna attack him. Sorry it took so long! Whoa! Her hair thingies are... weapons. They're chakrams. I'll take care of the things, so don't worry. You get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go help you, man. I ain't letting you do this alone. Setsuna, what are you planning on doing with him? Letting him go? What do you mean? We can't just set a criminal free. He has yet to commit any crime. We can't leave him here to die. Yes, two girls join my party, please! Ugh, why now? Alright, if you want to live, draw your sword and help protect Setsuna. I turn out to my party! Oh, what? It's only two girls? I mean, one girl? Uh... I want to see what this combo is. Charge! Waloompa! Oh, I missed it! I missed the momentum. There we go. Got it. Do we both have to be ready to do the combo? Combo. Uh... X-Strike? No, I'll just do charge. Yeah! Ooh! That was it! Nice! Did that say she was level 12 or level 2? We need to get rid of the rest of these monsters. You help too! Sure. That way I could get stronger, get more money. Hmm, good. At least you're not arguing back. Anyway, I'm afraid saying no isn't an option. A hold too, Eterna! No, you stay hidden, Setsuna. But... Don't worry, it's fine. I'm going to protect you. Let's go. If you try to run, I'll kill you. So watch your back. I thought she was a magic user, but none of her texts had to do anything with, um... What you would call it. I'll, I'll just attack. I'll just do normal attacks because there's two of them. And I'm kind of running out of MP. 
Really? You're still not dead? There we go. Yay! Time kill? What was time kill? Oh, we're... Yeah, it is level 2. It's just a weird period after level. It looked like... It made it look like 1.2. Ooh, this we're gonna have to use. Uh, combo. X strike. On you! Yes! Link kill! Woo! But now I have no more MP. I wonder if I talk to Setsuna if she'll heal me. Yeah, what is time kill? I'm level 3! Uh. Sasuna, can you infinitely heal me? No, you cannot. Uh, where's the rest of the monsters? Doko. Uh, maybe they're to the north. Seriously, why does her hood make her look like a frog? Maybe she's trying to be a bear? Where are the monsters? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, oh, I should oh, have yes. saved my MP. Oh, wait. My MP is up. Combo. Uh, X strike on you. Yeah, overkill. Mental kill. Hi. She can only do the little attack, so I need to. Yeah. Exact kill. Lucky. I guess if they level up, they, uh,. Enlightenment, cool. What trophy is that for, I wonder? That's the last of them. Yeah, seems there was no real damage to the village either. You spoke too soon. Look at that crazy bird. Oh no. Well, it looks like the headline act is here. Can you still fight? Of course. Heck yeah, give me all the experience. I want to get strong. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Get yourself ready. This one isn't like the others. Being a little tired out is no excuse either. We must protect Setsuna, even if it costs us our lives. Don't say that! Yes, heal us! Setsuna? Thank you. Now I don't have to worry about anything except fighting. I don't want you risking your lives. I'm planning to fight too. Oh, I'm going to fight too. What are you talking about, Setsuna? I'll protect you, so just... That's right, Eterna. I need you to protect me. Exactly, so... So if you die here, how will you be able to do that? In order for you to be able to protect me, Eterna, right now, I need to protect you. Don't be ridiculous. I've made up my mind. Looks like nothing I say is going to make any difference. Just promise me you'll run away if it gets too dangerous. I will, together with you. She's only known each other for... Two weeks and they're like super bud. Buddy buddy. Come on, bird. Ow! Let's see if we have a combo. Nope. Uh, there's only one, so there's no point in doing X strike. Wait! Oh, that one doesn't have a momentum. Okay. Uh, how do I skip? Oh, there we go. Tech. Cyclone. Oh wait, I didn't get another moment? Oh, I don't have any SP, haha. <laughs> uh, charge. Wait, I... Yeah. I still didn't have an SP? Oh, now I do. Oh! Uh, Eterna. Tech. Charge. You. Tech. Cure me. Uh, tech cycle you. You wait your turn. Get back, Setsuna. What is happening? Combo. Nope. Cycle. Oh, I didn't have any SP. Ah. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. 
Tide attack. Ow. <clears throat> Need to heal me. Complete drop? What? Nope, we're gonna wait. Attack up. Why? Me, I am ready. I will cycle you. Ooh, that was it. Woo, lucky. Mada mada. Gunna. Don't bother trying to resist. I just helped you, lady! Can't let you go until we decide what to do with you. Murder of a sacrifice is a very grave crime. Even if it was only an attempted murder, we can't just let you walk. The only reason you're even alive now, rather than inside a monster's stomach, is that the sacrifices keep the monsters at bay and stop them from becoming more ferocious. If it wasn't for them, everywhere would have been overrun by monsters a long, long time ago. You almost doomed all of mankind to certain death. Do the sacrifices have meaning? Do they? If they didn't, mankind would have been wiped out centuries ago. In the shadows of history, there are people who have continued to protect all of humanity. Not that I imagine you've ever felt an ounce of gratitude towards them, of course. There is no way you could possibly understand. The ritual of sacrifice is repeated over and over again in order to bring us into the future. Now I feel like they're just like hitting us over the head with this like, this is super important. And like, we already get that it's important. You don't have to keep repeating this. Ah, you are all safe. Thank goodness. I heard what happened. You fought off the monsters that attacked our village, did you not? Before anything else, let me thank you on behalf of everyone in the village. Now, with regards to what we shall do about you, truth be told, I too am at a loss. He needs to be kept restrained until the sacrifice has set off from the village. Yes, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Please wait. What is it, Satsuna? It's me who he tried to kill. Please, hear me out. I want you to make him a free man. Let him go, you mean? No, not quite. I'd like him to join my guard. You can't do that, he's too dangerous. If he's so skilled that you think he's dangerous, surely he'll make a very reliable companion. The sacrificial pilgrimage is not an easy journey. The more people we have on our side, the better, right? No matter what you say, I'm still against it. We'd be putting ourselves close to a man who's even more dangerous than the monsters. If it's my life you're after, then please see the pilgrimage through to its end. If I complete my duty as sacrifice, that should also fulfill your goal. My death. I think the guy wants the sacrifice to not happen, though. He wants the world to be overridden by monsters, but whatevers! So, what say you? In light of your having protected our village from monsters, we shall respect your decision. Will you remain here in the village until Sesena departs on her pilgrimage? Or will you leave on her journey together with her as part of her guard? There's still time until their departure. Once you have made up your mind, come to my house. Mine is the northernmost house in the village. I shall be looking forward to hearing your reply. I already made my decision. I'm gonna go with her. No questions asked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for asking you to involve yourself. No problem. By the way, what's your name? I didn't get a chance to ask you before. I see. So your name's Jelly. Say, Jelly, I'm going to go to the Falling Snow Monument. Will you come with me? I suppose so. You will? Thank you. You know where the Falling Snow Monument is, right? It's where you and I first met, Jelly. Satsuna, join my party! Why would I move her? I'm not going to switch anyone. Let's go! Bye, lady! Bye, dude! Okay, well, I think that was long enough for an introduction. We haven't really fully set off, but I think this is a good place to stop. Oh, man. Things are happening. Sacrifices are important. Monsters are bad. And we shall find out more 
later. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. The battle's cute and fun. I just need to be mindful about watching out for the SP points when it's actually full and there's a glowy thingy. Mm. And yeah, I'm excited to see where this all leads. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.